Hey there, this is Bill Schulteis. I'm the creator of The Coffee House Investor and my mission is to work with all of you so that together we can help everyone build wealth, ignore Wall Street and get on with their lives. The continuing unfolding of the coronavirus continues to cause a lot of anxiety across the nation and around the world. No one knows how it's gonna play out, the impact it's gonna have on our health, on our lives, on our communities, on our companies, on our countries, and certainly that uncertainty is being played out in a very volatile stock market. I wanna take a few moments and share with you some thoughts from the perspective of coffee house investors that you might wanna integrate into your life and maybe share with others to the extent that you are wanting to ignore Wall Street and get on with your life in this very uncertain time. And the first thing I wanna share with you is a saying that somebody shared with me a long time ago that I have used countless times in connecting with investors over the past 40 years. And that is that there is no bad time to do the right thing. I want you to take a moment and reflect on how your portfolio is allocated between stocks and fixed income investments like bonds and CDs so that you are positioned to address the risk that will impact you the most. And for investors who are just starting out, whether they be 20, 30, or even 35 years old, the risk that you have with your long-term investments is not what the stock market's gonna do over the next two weeks or the next two years. The risk that you have is what inflation's gonna do to your portfolio over the next 30 to 40 years. And although you might just be starting out investing and it might be a little unsettling to see your portfolio going down in value over the past week to 10 days, it's kind of counterintuitive, but a declining stock market really is in your best interest because it allows you to invest your future dollars at much lower levels and allowing you to get the expected higher returns over the next 30 to 40 years. Now, if you're getting closer to retirement, I want you to keep one thing in mind. If you're gonna be pulling money out of your portfolio over the next five to eight years, you wanna make sure that those dollars are out of the stock market. You don't need fancy Monte Carlo systems and you don't need a spreadsheet worth of standard deviations on your portfolio. Just keep in mind that the money that you're gonna be wanting to pull out of your portfolio for whatever purpose over the next five to eight years shouldn't be in the stock market. Keep those things in mind. The last thing I wanna share with you is once you have your asset allocation set, turn away from your portfolio. Watching your portfolio experience these volatile up and down days only increases your anxiety and it encourages, it encourages you to do things in your portfolio that may not be in the best interest of your long-term game plan. So those are some things I want you to keep in mind. I want you to take those principles. Don't, sh uh, don't put all your eggs in one basket. There's no such thing as a free lunch and save for a rainy day and share them with someone in your life who might be feeling some anxiety over what's going on right now. Hey, this is Bill Schulteis. I'm the creator of The Coffee House Investor, and I'll catch you next week.